Okay, so we've stopped by the opposable game stand uh, for a little game called Salvage. I'm here with James. Uh, I believe you're the design director. That's right. Yeah. Uh, thank you for stopping to talk uh, to talk to us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Salvaged? Yeah, so in Salvage you play the uh, commander of a, a remote interstellar salvage crew, which is a squad of marines essentially that go into the wrecks of spacecraft, uh, not only to retrieve the black box flight recorders, but also kind of salvage any loot you can find along the way. Um, and the, the kind of the main thing about the game, the main USP is that you control it from your tablet or your smartphone. So you've got this really intuitive multi-touch interface for the main game that's running on the PC, and then you can watch as the actions play out through the eyes of your team. Yeah, I mean, as soon as we, we came over to the stand, it was, you know, I noticed the tablet and, and how stuff was going on on there, but you had, like, the four separate monitors for, for obviously, like, all the team members. Uh, I believe you used something called One Touch Technology? Uh, yeah, we've got a thing called One Touch Connect, which we've developed in-house, which, um, and essentially what that does is just makes the process of discovery and connection between all of your devices kind of really quick and easy, and we, we kind of, we felt that, that, that people are coming home and playing game, their games, and they've got these devices in their pockets or in their bags that they're not really using to interact, and there's lots of benefits in having a, a kind of touch device as a controller, particularly for something that's very kind of tactical and strategic like Salvaged. We just, and, and One Touch Connect makes that uh, a lot easier for us, and it makes it a lot easier for the user as well. I mean, obviously you've got it on, on display today. I've had a quick go myself. It's very good. Uh, I quite like sort of the XCOM kind of, those kind of real-time sort of strategy games. Would you, would you be fair to say it's kind of similar to those? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, XCOM's a big influence. Um, and kind of older games like Syndicate and Hired Guns and Captive and things on the Amiga um, are really kind of... Uh, just kind of embedded in, in what we're trying to do and the kind of the, the, the multiple views is, is kind of a classic sci-fi look that we wanted to kind of replicate and this, this seemed like a really good way of doing it. I believe uh, our very own Matt mentioned Space Hulk as well on the site and he thought it was quite reminiscent of that. Uh, now it, it's heading on to Kingstarter. Yeah. Um, I believe that's going to be this Friday? Yeah, Friday the 11th. I think it's, uh, for, um, yeah, and so we, we, we've had a really good response uh, here and at Rezd, um, and a lot of people online talk about it. I think when, when people see it, they'll really get it. So we've got kind of a good kind of Kickstarter video to get people kind of acquainted with what we're trying to do, and we really hope that kind of the community will come and join us on the, on the way. Well, we, we've all enjoyed uh, what we've played of it so far, especially me, because I love those kind of games. Um, we'll have all the links to the Kickstarter page uh, in sort of the text below. Uh, but thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. I was a Mega Drive boy, but there was a few games on the SNES that I never played, like Uni Rally, that I've always missed in my heart.